Hi guys and welcome back to part two of my plan with me slash so with me summer outfit. I'm very excited you guys. Now in the part one of my video I spoke about the design inspiration that I had plus the the patterns and the fabric so go back and watch that video if you want more details about the this uh, trouser set that i'm about to make now a decision has been made well at least for the trouser and i'm starting off with my tnt <laughs> 1165 i've decided to do 1165 view d the shorts and the reason basically the reason that i ch i chose this is because the pattern is already cut out <laughs> laziness was the factor here i never i've never um sewn up new look 6859 before so it's it's not cut out so that was the main reason ultimately why I chose 1165. So I'm doing view D, the shorts, and the fabric that I've chosen is the mustard yellow fabric. You guys know from the last video, I said that I was leaning more towards that one. So that is the one that I'm going to use. Now, there's gonna be a part three. <laughs> Let me just get this out of the way right now. So this video, I'm just gonna do the the trouser, the sew with me trouser, and then part three, I'm gonna do the the top. Now, there might be a bit slight bit deviation from the top. Um, I'm thinking whether or not I should just go ahead and do the button down top with the collar, or should I leave it with the original pattern? So. I have some stuff to think about why, while I sew up this, this pattern. But the trouser has already been cut out. So I have the waistband here. I also have this one. It's the, uh, it's the back. It's the back. I've got, oh, and as I hit my light, I have the yoke and the, the pocket and I also have the front of the shorts now with this short I am going to keep the front pocket of course it's attached to the yoga but I don't think I'm gonna do the the back pocket I'm not sure no I'm lying I am sure Pat why are you telling these people that you're not sure when you know you're sure <laughs> yes I'm not going to do the back the back pockets i'm just going to stick with the the side pocket for this uh, for this particular pen and also i i am going to do sort of like a paper bag waist i did it with the second trouser that i made with uh, 1165 and i quite like how it turned out so i'm going to do the paper bag waist again i I'm still debating whether or not I should add loops and a sash to the shorts. I'm still debating that. We'll see how, how it goes at the end when I try it on. Most likely, I would go down that route because I just prefer my, my trousers to have uh, um, loops in case I want to wear a belt. So that's a decision that I'm going to make at the at the end but we're gonna go ahead now and we're gonna start sewing this bad boy up starting with the pockets and the front yoke so let's get started and I'm already here in my sewing corner you can see parts of my machine Sheila this is Miss Sheila <laughs> so Miss Sheila and I have some work to do today okay so let's see where we at like I said we're doing view D and uh, yeah 
okay yes we are starting off with the yoke and the front of the pant now let me put my disclaimer out from now this is no way shape or form a tutorial okay so if you're looking for a tutorial with 1165 this is not a tutorial this is more of a sew with me so you can see some of my sewing process some of my shenanigans and we have a bit of, of some conversations along the way okay so just so you know <laughs> anyway let's get this started so i almost had my first shenanigan i know right i mean it is too early in the game to be having these shenanigans ah <laughs> but anyway i almost forgot to change out the thread from my last Louie project. I think by the time you're seeing part two, which is this video, you would have seen a pattern review from my calls 8029, no, 8089, sorry. So have to change out the thread, change out the bobbin and put in the correct thread. Yes. For those of you who don't know, I prefer to use the larger spools of thread. I mean, I could always switch it out and use it in my serger and for me i think it's just more economical especially for spools of thread that i use often like you know the white beige uh black gray blue those common colors i think it's very more much more economical just to use the larger spool of thread but anyway stop fambling <laughs> let's get this on so i'm just gonna set up everything and get the front pocket situated wow. But before I get everything threaded up, let me just introduce you to one of my favorite sewing tools. And it's a bit con unconventional, but you guys know me by now. Do, 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 do. Yes, this is a mug, <laughs> Mr. Bunny. <laughs> well, at least I think he's a bunny. Oh no, he's not. There's the ears. He's Mr. Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yes so this is how i hold my thread when i'm using the larger spools of thread i know i can use uh, there's the the thread stand but i don't want to i think this is much 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 <laughs> much better so i just pop it in the cup and I fed up my sewing machine and we are on my merry way. It's the little things like this that just makes my sewing experience a lot much better. So yes, one of my favorite sewing tools. <laughs> now let me get Miss Sheila all threaded off. So, yes, guys, we are finally on our way. <laughs> finally. Let me tell you, I was trying to avoid shenanigans so early in the game, but it couldn't escape me. And that is because one of my common habits that I have when I'm sewing. Now, you guys saw me set up the sewing machine, right? What happens sometimes after I sew it up, I mean, threading up the, the machine, is that important step of testing the stitch on the fabric, uh, on the scrap fabric of the garment. So I threaded up the thing, forgot to test the stitch, <laughs> went straight to sewing up the pattern pieces and the machine and the stitches, sorry, were all cattywampus. <laughs> so I had to do some adjustments to that. So after I tested the stitch out and everything, adjusted the tension, we fed the sewing machine again. You know, I'm finally liking the stitch. So I'm just there <laughs> stitching over the front pocket again and i think i should have a better stitch now yeah i do so that's one of my habits another sewing habit that i have is that 
when I'm sewing, I don't always remove the sewing pins. So what happens <laughs> when one of, of or two things happen? One, either I break the machine needle or two, <laughs> I show on top of the of the sewing pin and it either breaks or bend. So I can tell you I have quite a few sewing pins that are bent. So I really need to go through that stash and get that sorted. But anywho, so I'll stitch the yoke to the front and I've also trimmed down the sides. And now I'm just going to to clip the curves so that it makes it easier when I'm folding it in and ironing it. So now that I've clipped along the edges, I'm just going to turn the pocket, well, <laughs> the beginning of the formation of the pocket to the inside i'm going to press the seam and then i'm also going to fold the yoke because we're forming the pocket now and then i'm going to stitch along this line and i'm going to do it to the other trouser so let me get it pressed We have pockets, pockets. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Like I've mentioned before, for this pattern 1165, the pockets are, well, for me, the most tedious part of this pattern. But once you get it, you're good to go. Now, um, I've omitted the back pockets um, simply because with the... The material, it with the material, because like this is a lightweight fabric. Use your words, Patrice, use your words. This is a lightweight fabric, so I really don't think it's necessary to put the back pockets in. If I were using a heavier type of fabric, of course. Uh, but for this lightweight fabric, I decided to omit it. And you know what? I think that's the way to go because I do have a habit another habit not a sewing habit <laughs> but another habit of putting my cell phone in my back pocket is a terrible habit and i'm trying to break it but it's so hard you would think that i've learned my lesson from the time where i forgot the phone in my back pocket went to the bathroom pulled down my trousers and all i heard was <laughs> right into the toilet you will think that i would have learned my lesson my lesson from that so i've omitted the back pocket and now we're just going to attach the the back of the trouser to the front of the trouser um by the inner seam first and then we will go from there so She's coming along very nicely, you guys. So I went ahead and I stitched and surged the inner seam. I also did the, the middle seam, so connecting the center front and the back together. Yes, we enforced it and I surged it as well. Look, I'm telling you. Although I love the other seaming techniques, the serger, the serger has its place, and this is definitely one of them. So, 
yeah, I've been using my serger a lot lately, a lot lately, simply because of time and just how easy it is. Now, I think that I've mentioned before that with my waistband, I'm thinking of doing a paper bag waistband instead of the regular waist. Now, the the with the waistband in the pattern it calls for a um or what you call it it's like a double elastic kind of waistband so you're feeding through two elastic and separating the waistband in half so i did that the first time i do like the outcome i like it love it but I always wanted to try the paper bag waist, waist, um, waistband. Oh, Pat, use your words. It's Friday night, you guys. As you can see, it's darkness out there. It's Friday night, so it's been a long week. Um, I'm just getting back from traveling from the UK for work, and I've been going, going ever since. So. I'm tired. <laughs> well, not too tired to sew, but you get you you understand what I'm saying. You understand. So yeah, so I wanted prior to me sewing up the trouser the second time for eleven sixty five. I've never did a well worn a waist bag a paper bag. <laughs> A paper bag waist bag so that I did it on the second trouser I'm like yeah Pat, we like this we definitely we definitely like this so yeah I'm, I'm thinking of doing it again for for this trouser and I'm hoping I'm hoping that it works out for the short one as uh, as well but we'll see. I'm definitely having a thing for the the, the, the paper bag waist bag. Waist band. Why can't I pronounce pronounce it? I, I'm I'm not sure. <laughs> but that's what we're gonna do. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to do a sash. I'm leaning towards it. I'm definitely leaning towards it, but I've decided to add loops my my belt loops so but that can be like added at the at the end what i'm going to do before i add the before i cut out the sash um i am going to cut out the top part of the outfit first and then i'm going to use the remnants for for the sash i just want to make sure that i have enough fabric for for the outfit because even if i run out of uh, fabric for the outfit i can always use uh, i can always make a sash out of uh, another material or even white linen or, or something like that or white cotton lawn i think i do have some white cotton lawn somewhere so you know that's that's the least of the problems i just want to make sure that i have enough fabric for the entire the entire outfit all right guys so we are at the waistband so here's what we're working with so far yep i am pleased i am so 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 pleased with it now as i mentioned before we're gonna do the paper bag waist band <laughs> yes yeah, so i have my waistband uh cut out here and the elastic now the original if i was doing the original waistband it would have been the three quarters um, of an inch waistband this is a half an inch but i've decided to go down and use a quarter inch instead just because i didn't make the width of the waistband any wider so i'm thinking if i use a smaller elastic it should be able to still hold the structure of the the waistband 
plus give me that effect that I'm going for with the paper bag um, waistband. So I'm going to use a quarter inch. And now we're ready to go with the waistband. And it's Saturday. <laughs> yes, it is. Good morning to you, chicken. Ah, I mean... Anyway, so I didn't get to complete the, the, the shots last night simply because Miss Sheila was not having it. Oh my goodness. So she kept just acting up and so I just had to pack her away and now I have to take her to get checked out. So now I am on my backup machine. I wasn't able to do to, to to deal with it last night. So I'm on my backup machine and now the only thing that I have left to do with the trousers on the wrong side. So I've put in the elastic. You know, I did the paper bag waist. Um I decided to use the half inch elastic instead of the quarter inch simply because when i added the quarter inch i didn't like the way how it looked so i removed it and inserted the quarter inch elastic and i think it looks much much better so the only thing left for me to do now is to hem hem the trousers i've already pinned it in place and everything and i'm going to hem it and then um Later on, I'm going to add the loops and I'm going to do the sash. But for this video, for purposes of this video, this is the last thing that I have to do. So let me just get ourselves together and then we'll stitch the hem. All completed. All completed. Okay, let's try this on. See how she fits. And here's what we're working with, guys. I love it. It's the perfect length, perfect for summer. I love the material. Now, one thing, I just wish it could have been a bit more roomier. So maybe I should have sized up for the shorts, but it's all good. None, nonetheless. Oh, okay. So the shots is finished. I'm still contemplating about the loops and the sash, but I think I'll go ahead and do the the kimono first, and then we'll go from there. But yeah, this is what we have. All right, lovies, I hope you enjoyed part two of my plan with me, so with me, summer outfit. The shorts are completed. You know, I did have some shenanigans, but minimal shenanigans. I think the main shenanigans had to do with Miss Sheila, you know, acting up, but she'll get sorted. She got the trouser, the shorts is completed. Like I said, I do wish that it had just a slight bit more room. So, yeah. When I make it next time, I'll just size up for the shorts because when I do the longer version, this size is perfect. But it still fits. It fits brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. So, I'm happy with it. And now we're going to go on to the kimono in the next video now i have a dilemma <laughs> because now i'm not sure if i want to make a um, new look 6378 you know this one i'm not sure so i'm thinking you know i'm debating whether or not i should do another macaw no not macaw um new look 6266 a button down shirt or should i do something like this, the uh, kimono type kind of shirt. Now, originally I, I didn't want any colors, buttons and buttonholes. Mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
I am not sure as of now, you know, this whole entire plan where we started one way and now it's ended up a whole complete. <laughs> it's taking on a whole complete other thing. But what's good if your mind if you're not allowed to change? Am I right? Am I right? Of course I'm not. <laughs> but I don't know. I know that I do want the length to be longer than 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 the shorts. I know that. And I should have enough material to make uh, the top. And you know what? I'm thinking of doing a headband to match everything. Oh gosh, this outfit. <laughs> but anyway, so the next part, you will see me making the top. You'll have a silver to make the top. And then we'll take it from there. But until then, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me how you're liking this so with me kind of videos so far. Should I do some more or should I call it a day with this one? Let me know. <laughs> and also, don't forget to click that notification bell so you can be aware of all of my other shenanigans. Yes, chicken and your shenanigans too. Ah. <laughs> I hope you have a lovely day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Think lovely thoughts. Keep on smiling. And always remember to make beautiful and wonderful things. Yes, chicken. You agree with me too. <laughs> All right, lovelies. I'm out of here. Bye.